So uh, these are the cars I was talking about that my parents have. First one, that's my mother got this year. Uh, this 2013 um, Mercedes-Benz SL uh, limited edition. And then that is the Tesla Roadster uh, electric car, as you guys know. And then finally, the last edition of the family is the Tesla Tap Type S. Uh, we just got the, this delivery about two, three weeks ago. And this one I'm going to be talking about today, okay? So uh, we're going to just take a walk around first. It's a beautiful design. This car looks, just looks amazing. Um, and then I'm going to give you all the uh, know-how about this car. You guys have no idea uh, what this car is capable of. And uh, you guys will be surprised. So I'll tell you guys pretty soon how it is. Okay, so I'm gonna go kind of fast up, uh, to show the interior and then I'm gonna talk to you guys so I don't make a long tape. This is the interior, uh, and my dad's my brother in law. What's up, buddy? Anyhow, um, the, the interior is pretty good, but what it strikes you the first, you don't see any knobs on the car. The only thing you see is this big, huge 12 inch, right? 17 inch uh, display. And we're here, you can pretty much control everything. You can go for your media, you can go for navigation. Uh, you can go to check the stats of the car. You can go on the camera to check behind you. You can call somebody. And the cool thing too, you just you have the website right here. You can just surf the any website right here right now. Um, also, if you go down here, you press controls, and now it shows the whole car. Actually, that's the rooftop right there. I just open up the rooftop, and the rooftop comes up. Say what? Anyhow, and if you want to close, you just close right there. And if I want to close, if I want to control the driving, I can get the suspension up high. So then the car suspension goes up, can go low, and so forth. So the whole car is controlled on this. There's no knobs, as you can see. There's no knobs or uh, controls except the, the touch screen. Um, so let me drive right now, and my brother-in-law is going to tape that for me. So here's the deal, why this car is so cool. It's not for the fact that it's just a car, for the fact of being electric. All right, first of all, the battery is on the floor, which gives a lot of room for the car. So the whole battery itself is right below us. The motor is no bigger than about, uh, about six shoe boxes, which is right between the wheelbase, well, wheelbases. So it gives this big, huge room on this car. As you can tell, there's no noise at all. You know, I'm stepping on it. And you can't hear anything at all. Now, here are the uh, things that you don't think about. Fully electric. Okay? Other than the battery and the motor, that's it. Everything else like a normal car. But look at a car. A regular car has so many moving parts, engine and so forth. Only one motor. Only one spinning motor. Something goes wrong, you can actually just take the motor and switch. Which doesn't go wrong, I'm just saying. Uh, no mechanic use. Basically, the motor is going to last for a period of long time. You don't have to really change or anything like that. Then, the battery. Now, five years from now, I'm sure they're going to have batteries that's going to give you a better range. So, what they do? We just swap the battery. And you still have the car. Now, that's the things that people take for granted about electric cars. If you're shopping for a Mercedes-Benz, a BMW, or even a, a, a top-line uh, um, um, Lexus, this you 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 spend your money for nothing because this will be, will be a car that you have for a long time and as technology progresses you can actually switch the parts that you have to switch the only one thing i forgot to tell you this has a 4g uh, actually a 3g uh, uh, uh connection this car if you need an upgrade for anything in this car you can just call them and they download whatever you have to change for instance to go faster to have longer mileage Price on this car ranges from anything from sixty thousand for the base price to a hundred thousand uh, to one hundred ten thousand, which is this one over here, which is the high performance, three hundred miles range, uh, and that's the Type S, uh, the, uh, the the Tesla Type S. Now in two thousand thirteen, they're coming out with the SUV, which is going to range from anything between fifty thousand to ninety thousand dollars, and finally. We have, uh, they are talking about in for 2015 to make a car that's going to cost less than 
and um, about 200 miles range, they'll be competing with the um, the BMW uh, 3. Now, think about it. You're gonna buy a car that still uses oil, gas. Uh, the combustion engine has to be uh, constantly being updated, uh, uh, changing oil, all mechanical problems. With this, you don't have to. Just plug in and go. So if you're in the shop, if you're shopping for for a uh, car around fifty thousand to a hundred thousand dollars, by all means, put your money into Tesla. Uh, I can't describe how great this car is, man. And and if if you guys could just know how much power this thing has. Oh, I'm at, whoa, 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 almost lost control right now. I was at 60 miles an hour, dude, <laughs> did you see that? And the thing just went sideways. That's how much power this thing has. So it's not a toy, it's an awesome car. Yeah, let me come the freak down before I crash this thing. <laughs> see ya. Oh my God.